How much petroleum do you use? You might not realize how petrochemicals are common and widespread in your life. Plastic is full of petroleum. Petroleum is likely in the paint on your walls. It's found outside in the pavement and inside in your carpet. Petroleum is even in sports field turf. Your kids' crayons can contain petrochemicals, and so do some cleaning supplies you use to wash your kids' crayons off the window. We're used to pumping petro into our gas tanks. But did you know your car's seat cushions usually contain petroleum? You have choices that can reduce our dependence on petroleum and foreign oil. Your choices can also decrease harmful chemicals in your workplace, your home, and surrounding us all in the environment. New answers emerge every year, making it simple for you to be part of the solution. America is evolving past decades of dependence on foreign oil and petrochemicals into more renewable, sustainable options. Made from natural resources grown in America, bio-based products offer a choice. Innovation begins with vision. Creative thinkers like George Washington Carver tapped into the potential of crops. Henry Ford wanted to make his cars from plants. Rudolf Diesel powered engines with peanut oil. To reduce the petrochemicals and things we encounter every day, we can start with a few key natural ingredients, sun, seeds, and soil. It's simple. Farmers and nature team up to grow seeds into plants each year, pour in today's innovation, and see the solutions grow before your eyes. Soybeans. Often called the miracle bean, soybeans pack a lot of power into a tiny little pod. They harvest energy from the sun and capture carbon from the atmosphere. Plus, these plants remove nitrogen from our air, transforming it into valuable nutrients for the soil and protein for our dinner tables. The resulting impact of these busy beans in one year alone, U.S. soybeans can collectively remove from the atmosphere the carbon equivalent of taking 22 million cars off the road. Each year, nearly 600,000 independent U.S. farmers plant, grow, and harvest trillions of soybeans. By starting the cycle over again, they generate this air quality bonus year after year. 80% of a soybean is meal. That's the protein part. Almost all of America's soybean meal ends up as feed for livestock. 3% goes into human food and industrial products. 20% of a soybean is oil. Most goes to make things like salad dressing and cooking oil. What's left is well-suited for bio-based products. Growth in global population and standards of living drive demand for protein. Meeting this need increases the supply of soybean oil. At the same time, U.S. farmers are preserving marginal land for wildlife and environmental efforts. The land required to produce a bushel of U.S. soybeans has decreased by 35% since 1980. In the last 30 years, U.S. farmers have reduced energy use, greenhouse gas emissions, and irrigation water use per bushel of soybeans by more than 40 percent. Meanwhile, we benefit from greater supplies of soybean oil. It's an abundant, renewable source for food, fuels, and bio-based products. Change starts with each of us. You can make the natural choice today by choosing bio-based products for offices, fleets, homes, construction jobs, and more. Hundreds of soy bio-based options are now available for everything from cleaning supplies, furniture, car seats, and hydraulic fluids to pavement and rooftops. Choose soy inside carpet, turf, paints, and so much more. Be an agent for change. To find more products that make it an easy choice, head to www.soybiobase.org 
and start switching to soy today.